Hello everyone. Welcome to your favorite CAT prep channel, Count Quantifiers. So in today's session, we are going to do two very good questions: one on algebra and one on geometry. So let's see what the two questions are. अब ये क्वेश्चन हमने क्लास में बहुत डिटेल में किया था इसकी बेसिस पे. It's a very small application of that. मैं समझाऊंगा कि क्या है इस क्वेश्चन में. It says f x is a polynomial which, when divided by x minus 36, leaves a remainder of 64, and when divided by x minus 64, leaves a remainder of 36. So before we solve this question, let us move back to number system once. What is number system? सबसे पहले क्या होता है? Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. ठीक है? This is a very simple thing, or which is a very just the brahmastra for this question. Nothing else you need to do. ठीक है? So uh, what if I if I try to use this here? ठीक है? मुझे पता है कि यार एक polynomial है f x ठीक है एफ एक्स को जब मैं एक देखो इसको अच्छे टर्म में लिखूं अगर मैं एफ एक्स इज अमियल विच वन डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स माइनस थर्टी सिक्स तो कुछ क्वेश्चन आता होगा एंड द रिमाइंडर कम्स आउट टू बी सिक्सटी फोर ठीक है ओके सो इसको लिखते हैं हम यहाँ पे एफ एक्स इज अ डिविडेंट डिवाइजर इज अवर एक्स माइनस थर्टी सिक्स देर इज अम क्वेश्चन क्यू वन एंड इट लीव अ रिमाइंडर ऑफ सिक्सटी फोर सो उसको मैंने ऐसे लिख दिया राइट अब इसकी सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट पढ़ते हैं वेन डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स माइनस सिक्सटी फोर अब सेम चीज को जब आप x माइनस सिक्सटी फोर से डिवाइड कर रहे हो तो देर विल बी डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन इनटू क्यू टू प्लस रिमाइंडर विल बी सो दिस इज द थिंग गिवन टू मी राइट नाउ आई एम आस्ट व्हाट विल बी द रिमाइंडर व्हेन इट इज डिवाइडेड बाय x माइनस थर्टी सिक्स इंटू एक्स माइनस सो वॉट विल बी द आंसर वेन द सेम इज डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स माइनस थर्टी सिक्स इंटू एक्स माइनस अब इससे कलेक्टिवली डिवाइड कर रहे हैं देर विल बी सम क्वेश्चन ऑब्वियसली क्यू थ्री कहते हैं एंड देर इज सम रिमाइंडर Now another important learning here. वाला कि यहाँ पे here they have given us the remainder is ax plus b. So even if if it was not given, you will always suppose your default remainder to be ax plus b. ठीक है and what is the special thing about it? See we are dividing the polynomial with a degree two polynomial. Linear is a quadratic से divide कर रहे हैं ठीक है we are dividing it by quadratic two and quadratic has a degree of two. ठीक है, we are dividing it by x minus 36 minus x minus, so it is x square minus 100x plus 64 into 36. So whatever the equation is, let's say जो भी हमारी equation है, no, when I am dividing my given polynomial by this quadratic equation, always remember the remainder you will get will be of a degree lesser than that. ठीक है, of at least one degree lesser than that. जो भी हमारा remainder होगा, वो इस जिस भी आप चीज से divide कर रहे हो dividend से, उससे उसकी degree कम से कम एक कम होगी. हो सकता है दो भी कम हो हो सकता है आपका रिमाइंडर 15 भी आ जाए दिस इज आल्सो पॉसिबल बट योर रिमाइंडर विल बी एट लीस्ट वन डिग्री लेस सो इट हेयर द डिग्री इज टू वन डिग्री लेस विल बी अ लीनियर इक्वेशन सो द रिमाइंडर कुड बी ऑफ एट मोस्ट वन डिग्री सो ax plus b राइट सो द नेट रिजल्ट इज रिटन इन दिस फॉर्म नाउ वंस यू हैव रिटन दिस थिंग नाउ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व एवरीथिंग वेरी केयरफुली एंड नाउ द आंसर लाइज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू व्हाट आई कैन डायरेक्टली डू सी आई हैव टू यूज दीस टू इक्वेशंस समहाउ एंड Produce the results for this. Can we do that? Yes. How? If we calculate f of 36, what is f of 36? If for f of 36, let me substitute 36 over here. It will be 36 minus 36 plus 64. So f of 36 is nothing but 64, right? Now, if I use this here, f of 36 will be a into 36 plus b because this part is becoming zero. जैसे मैंने यहाँ पे 36 substitute करा. So a into 36 plus b, and f of 36 is 64. So basically, a into 36 plus b is 60. Let me write first equation. Now, the second thing. See, in the similar way, can I say I can also calculate x f of 64? What is f of 64? F of 64 is nothing but if I substitute here, 64 minus 64 zero into q2 plus 36. F of 64 is a into 64 plus b. यहाँ पे जब 64 डालेंगे तो अगेन ये चीज तो जीरो हो जाएगी यहाँ पे 64 डालूंगा तो 64 ए प्लस बी आएगा 64 ए प्लस बी इज इक्विवेलेंट टू व्हाट इट इज इक्विवेलेंट टू 36 राइट दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नाउ दिस इज फर्स्ट इक्वेशन दिस इज सेकंड इक्वेशन इफ आई सबट्रैक्ट नाउ आई हैव बेसिकली टू लीनियर इक्वेशंस विद मी एंड आई हैव सिंपली टू सॉल्व दिस ठीक है अब इसमें कोई बड़ी बात नहीं रही है 64 ए प्लस बी इज 36 Six a plus b is sixty four. If I subtract, I will get twenty eight. A is equal to minus twenty eight. A is equal to minus one. 
So if a is equal to minus one, I will substitute it here. What I will get, I will get b is equal to hundred. So a is minus one and b is hundred. So basically, I can say the overall the remainder would be minus x plus hundred. This will be the remainder. So only a value is minus one and b. So what is the value of a plus b? The value of a plus b is nothing but our minus one plus hundred. That is ninety. The required answer for this question is ninety nine. I hope you have understood the explanation. So let's see what is the second question. It is even a better one. Just requires some basic knowledge and nothing else. So it says in triangle ABC, uh, median AM is drawn such that it divides angle BAC in the ratio one is to two. So basically, this is the triangle ABC. This is a triangle ABC. AM is drawn such that it divides angle BAC. So let's say this is A, this is B, this is C. So AM is a median which is dividing it into the ratio A, and AM is extended to D. So basically, let's say this. Let's say this is the now uh, angle ABD is ninety degree. So basically. A B D. This angle is ninety degree. Okay, and A M is a median, which is dividing into that angle B S in the ratio one is to two. If this part is theta, this part is nothing but two theta, right? This part is nothing but theta. Now, also it is given to me that A C is twelve. This line is twelve centimeter, and I need to find this line. So let's say this line is uh, A D is बाय ठीक है जो भी एडी कुछ कुछ भी मान लेते हैं वो भी एडी निकालेंगे चलो नाउ फर्स्ट थिंग इन ज्योमेट्री थिंक दैट व्हाट ऑल इज गिवन टू यू मीडियन इज गिवन टू यू व्हाट डू वी नो अबाउट मीडियन द बेसिक थिंग वी नो अबाउट मीडियन इज डिवाइड्स द ट्रायंगल इनटू टू इक्वल पार्ट्स द एरिया ऑफ दीस टू पार्ट्स इज इक्वल नेक्स्ट वी कैन अप्लाई एक्लोनियस नो वी कैन नॉट अबी बट इट विल नॉट बी एनी बेनिफिशियल फॉर अस राइट नाउ Uh, it divides the triangle into six equal parts. If I have three medians, but it cannot also be applied here. So what what is the basic thing we know? That it divides the area into two parts. So let me just apply that. Right now, how can I find area of this triangle? I know that area of triangle ABM is equal to area of triangle AMC. Yeah, me pata right. Now, what is the area of a triangle? Half into AB sine theta. This is the angle with us, right? Okay. Now let's say this side is x, okay, and let's say this side is y. Now, uh, what is the area of triangle ABM? A, Half into x into y into sine theta, right? Which is equivalent to. This area of this triangle, which is this triangle, half into x into twelve into sine two theta, right? Half and half gets cancelled out. X and x gets cancelled out. Now, what is sine two theta? Sine theta is two sine theta cos theta. So basically, the value of y, the value of this y, y comes out to be two sine theta cos theta into twelve. Okay, so y is equal to sine theta to sine theta cos theta. Okay, fine. Y is equal to twenty four cos theta. Okay, because sine theta and sine theta gets cancelled out. I'll just repeat. I write it clearly. So I having I have this thing. Y into sine theta is equal to twelve into two sine theta cos theta. So sine theta sine theta cancelled out, and y is equal to twenty four cos theta. Now see this y is twenty four cos theta, right? And triangle ABD is a right angle triangle. Since this is a right angle triangle, and I know this side, I need to find this side. Can I say I can apply sine theta or cos theta using the trigonometric identity? I can do that. So basically, if uh, I need, if, if this is ninety degree, this is a hypotenuse, and this is a perpendicular. So which angle, uh, you know, relates perpendicular with the hypotenuse? Sine theta. So what is sine theta? Sine theta is e upon h perpendicular upon h. Now, uh, what is theta here? Theta is this angle. Okay. 
Now, what is the value of this theta? If this is theta, this is 90. Can I say this will be nothing but 90 minus theta because 180 minus 90 plus theta. Okay. So it will be 90 minus theta. Now sine theta. So here sine theta. Basically, sine of 90 minus theta lagangi kyunki yaha pe theta or the angle hota hai value 90 minus theta sin of 90 minus theta is equal to perpendicular the value of which is 24 cos theta upon h h is our ad right so ad is equal to nothing but 24 cos theta and what is sin 90 minus theta sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so basically cos theta cos theta cancel out so ad will come out to be 20. So this is again a very good result based upon the basics. We just need to know that what do we need and what do we want. Okay, what do we have, what do we want and just relate these things in geometry. Okay, with this we will finish this and just a major announcement. We have a special geometry course running up. So if you are interested in joining us, you can contact me. Thank you so much guys. Have a great day.